This call is now being recorded. Objective. I can ask questions about events in the past. Let's learn past simple questions. What did you do last weekend? We went camping. Where did you stay? We stayed in a tent. What did you cook? We cooked sausages. Did you eat the sausages? No, we didn't. Okay, uh, so just now we have learned about uh, sentence in past tense. But now we're going to learn about how to ask questions in past tense. Macam mana nak tanya soalan dalam past tense untuk benda yang sudah berlaku. Okay, for example, what did you do last weekend? Dah berlaku kan last weekend? What did you do? Okay, so the answer also should be in past tense. We went camping. Ah, kalau present tense untuk went adalah go. So, we change it to when. Go adalah irregular verb eh. Kalau irregular verb, dia tak tambah ed, tak ada g-o-e-d, no. We change it totally. We went camping. Okay. Continue. To summarize, we form past simple yes no questions like this. Did, subject, then verb in the base form. For example, did you have any brothers? Did he go to university? To answer yes no questions, we use short answer. When the answer is yes, we say and when the answer is no, we say. Okay. The first uh, thing when you want to ask question, ada banyak, ada banyak cara kita nak tanya soalan eh. The first one, bila kita nak tanya orang tu yang jawapan ni hanya perlukan yes ataupun no je. Okay, we use did. Okay, for example, did you have any brothers? Or did he go to university? Alright. Okay, and then the answer uh, would be yes or no. Kalau yes, yes. Uh, kalau did you have any brothers? Yes, I did. Okay, kalau tak ada apa? No, I did not or I didn't. Okay, understand? Ni untuk soalan yang kita perlukan jawapan yes or no. Okay. Next, we form past simple WH questions like this. WH word, did. Subject, then verb in the base form. For example, what did I say? Where did he go? Who did she meet? Why did it run away? When did you finish your work? Which did we receive? And lastly, how did they become famous? Okay. Just now, nak tanya soalan ni untuk jawapan yang yes or no. But this time, you want to ask question using WH questions. For example, what, where, who, why, when, which and how. Okay. Yang ni, jawapan dia bukan yes, no lah. Uh, kalau what, a simple je. Where, simple. Who, simple. Why, simple. Uh, why, dia akan ada reasons lah. Because of what. How bagaimana, alright? So, this one require uh, require you to use uh, answer that is quite long. Okay, compared to yes or no answer study, eh? Okay. We often answer past simple WH questions in a sentence. Remember, when we answer the questions, you have to use the verb in a past simple form. For example, where did he go? 
He went to Kuala Lumpur. Okay. Uh, you have to know lah. Kalau soalannya dalam past tense, uh, the answer obviously should be in past tense too. Okay. Where did he go? Did ni menunjukkan soalan tu adalah dalam past tense. So you should use past tense for the answer. He went to Kuala Lumpur. Whereas, mana kala, kalau di, dibuat ayat macam ni ya. Eh, where does he go? Does adalah present tense. Okay, kalau present tense, jawapan dia pun kena dalam present tense. He, present tense untuk when apa? Go. Kalau he go ke goes. He goes to Kuala Lumpur. But this time, today, we are learning about past tense. Uh, so, questions in past tense. Answer also should be in past tense. Be careful of the verb, especially. Here, remember. Okay, the verb here and the verb here. Uh, but for go, dia after did, dia kena dalam base form. Tak ada where did he went. No, where did he go. The verb here. Kalau dalam soalan, kalau selepas did, kena dalam root form, root word, kata asal. Alright? To change the base form of the verb go to the past simple form, went. Exercise 1. Look again at the questions about Robert Watlow in the text on page 76. Okay. So here, you have to look at the video very carefully because I'm going to, sh to use this uh, as a questions, as the questions after this, okay? Or can I think about what, what are the answers and uh, try to remember, right? And completes the table. Which word is in all of the questions? Did he have any brothers and sisters? Did he go to university? How did he become famous? What did people call him? When did he die? Okay. The word did is in all of the questions. Okay. The word did is in all of the questions. Why? Kenapa perkataan did tu ada dalam semua soalan? Because it is in past tense. Alright. Exercise 2. Order the words. Okay. The word That's all. Did. So, what you're going to do after this is you have to answer the questions. Uh, saya akan bagi gambar macam ni juga. You have to uh, choose which one is the correct answer. Okay, that is all for today. See you uh, next week, inshallah. And uh, take care. Till then, Assalamualaikum.